Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM and the final night of December's lineup of Cary Grant movies. He's been our star of the month and we've had his films every Friday night. Up next from RKO in 1948, Grant stars opposite Myrna Loy and Mr. Blandings builds his dream house. Based on a 1946 bestseller by Eric Hodgins, this is the kind of story about home ownership that will inspire you to rent for the rest of your lives. Cary Grant plays Mr. Blandings, Myrna Loy is Mrs. Blandings. They're a happily married New York couple with two daughters. The Blandings, though, are fed up with the city, so they decide to move out of their cramped apartment to buy the house of their dreams in the country where they will live happily ever after. The house it's worth mentioning is a bit of a fixer-upper, but, you know, it'll be fun. This just in, it isn't. This is a first-rate comedy thanks to a top-tier cast, including Melvin Douglas as their friend, a voice of reason, and Reginald Denny as their architect. Screenplay is top-notch, too, adapted by Norman Panama and Melvin Frank, who co-produced the film with Dory Sherry. Panama and Frank had exceptional pedigrees as comedy writers working on Bob Hope's radio show in the late 1930s. Here, they were getting to write sharp, quick-witted dialogue for two of the most talented comedy stars in the business, Cary Grant and Myrna Loy. Grant and Loy made three movies together. This represents their final pairing. Both stars were at high points in their careers, with Grant coming off the successes of Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious in 1946 and Sam Goldwyn's production of The Bishop's Wife in 1947. Myrna Loy was fresh from one of her finest performances in one of the great movies of its time, The Best Years of Our Lives, directed by William Wyler. This one is from RKO in 1948, directed by H.C. Potter. Mr. Blandings builds his dream house. Mr. Blandings builds his dream house marked the third and final film Cary Grant and Myrna Loy made together. They first teamed up on screen early in their careers for the 1935 aviation adventure Wings in the Dark, they collaborated again 12 years later for the 1947 comedy The Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer. Loy later said that Cary Grant was always at his funniest when he was frustrated. That's one of the things that made his comedy so hilarious, Loy added, so I immediately decided to play the little woman who drives him crazy. Grant, in turn, praised Loy as he described how acting was like playing ball. When you get somebody who catches it and tosses it back, that's what it's all about, Grant said. Myrna kept that spontaneity, a supreme naturalness that had the effect of distilled dynamite. Coming up, Cary Grant stars alongside Jose Ferrer and Paula Raymond in a tense political drama from 1950 written and directed by Richard Brooks. Crisis is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, Crisis, then the toast of New York, and later, Palm Springs Weekend. Let your hair down with TCM Tonight.